Ray marching is one of the most interesting techniques used for generating images with shader toy as it allows for creating landscapes as well as more geometric scenes like this one. These few lines of code created by Nusen generate a complete environment along with the camera movement that goes through it. The principle of ray marching is to cast rays for each camera pixel and test if they hit a surface at regular intervals. Since only one ray is cast for each pixel, this collision test may be positive for one pixel and negative for the adjacent pixel. As a result, it can be challenging to achieve high quality anti-aliasing with this technique for use in production. Autograph provides a solution to this challenge. Just like in the previous videos, we'll start by copying New Sun's code. We'll add a new shader toy generator in Autograph and paste the code in the editing window. We'll also enable gamma correction. When zooming into the image, we can see that it doesn't have proper anti-aliasing. The workaround here is to set the shader toy generator to produce an image that's bigger than the composition format housing the generator. Right now, the output format parameter is set to composition format, but we can define another format, for example, by selecting the format preset option, which lets us access the list of all formats defined in the preferences. By disabling clipping in the viewer, we can see what happens outside of the composition format, especially when we move the layer. But most importantly, we can see what happens when we set a new format for the shader toy generator that's bigger than the composition format. If we switch to 4K, it'll compute four times the number of pixels. Then we simply need to reduce the layer's scale parameter to 0.5. Four pixels will then be concentrated in the same spot and filtered according to the layer's filtering mode. Now the anti-aliasing is much better. If we go back and look closely at the barrier like we did before, we can see that the anti-aliasing is done properly. In terms of this technique, you aren't limited to just doubling the number of pixels in the image. You can also switch to 8K mode and set the scale parameter to 0.25 to increase the number of pixels. Depending on your graphics card, this resolution increase will of course impact calculation time. But keep in mind that shaders are calculated by multiple concurrent computing units in your graphics card. To compare, let's add a new shader toy generator, paste the code again, and enable gamma correction. Now we can compare the shader executed at the composition's original resolution, full HD, and the same shader calculated at a resolution 16 times higher, then scaled down with a scale parameter of 0.25. Again, by adjusting the filter of the layer with the generator, filtering can vary. So feel free to run your shaders at 4 or even 16 times the original resolution, then reduce the layer's scale parameter and adjust its filter to achieve the filtering you want. It's a great way to use amazing ray marching techniques in production.